has two bishop has confirmed, young man, but a young man, a young man in a full house. Amen. I want to point out this morning because uh, he is good. And while it is not for God, we cannot do the things we do. Amen. So you may teach yourself. I also want to honor the father of the house, Bishop Jimmy Kimani, and the entire team because of really giving us the environment to do what God has called us to do. Amen. We thank God this morning because uh, it is big in the house of God and it is uh, being accepted, be molded by what God says and that what makes us who we are. Amen. I am married. I am married to a lady called Catherine. She's not with me today. Uh, we are blessed with two children. Our first one is called Tiffany Karedi. She's in standard three. One has few. Our second one is called Abigail Waboy, and she's in uh, baby, no, not baby class. Unakua zinakuanga mi, so na abia kakaba ni kwa hii ni kwa hii. Yes, Nathalie. One has few. Amen. She's in Nazar, amen. And uh, we are trusting God to fill our world, amen. Amen. We bless God. Now, isn't it sweet to trust in Jesus and to take him at his word? So let us stand up and confess this, amen. And because my name is DJ, I will allow worship team to lead us.
read the word of God from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 30 and 31. The book of St. Luke, verse 1, no, chapter 1, verse 30 and verse 31. Then the angel, of the, then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and he shall call his name Jesus. Father, we thank you because of your word this morning. That as it is settled in the heaven, that you are watching over it this morning to perform. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come upon us and make a revelation of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name we are believed. Amen. You may have your seats. We thank God this morning because he brings us to give us his word all the time. Amen. And this morning, God wants us to take him at his word. Actually, the title of my message is Taking God at his word. Amen. And God wants us to take him at his word because he knows once we take him at his word, once we become what he tells us to be. Amen. Secondly, is that when we take God at his word, it is only his word which will make us complete. Nothing else other than the word of God which can make us complete. Amen? We have tried so many things, including myself. We have found ourselves in very awkward situations because of trying many things. We can outline the word of God. And I tell you, we have not made a difference even today. But as you it, it's only the word of God which will make us complete and which will make us become what God intends us to be. And uh, you know all of us here this morning, God has spoken about us. Individual, not about multitude, not about a group, not about your cell group. I know we have networks here, cell group, ladies group, men's group. He has spoken about the particular person who is you. This morning, we may have situations where we are wondering what will happen. Nothing will happen. It is only the word of God which has spoken about you and your situation which will occur in the day. Amen? Amen? So as you look at me this morning, I want to tell you, now I can listen in me, some are seeing Mount Longonot or Mount Everest, the biggest mountain you have ever seen in your life. The word of God will make it be. Amen? Amen. So it is only the word of God which will make us be. Now, we know as believers, I'm a student of God. God is always speaking to us. All the time. Other times it will become a bad one I'm here. Even as you listen to me, some are listening a combination of voice saying, yes, it is. But you see, God has a problem with us here and not obeying what he said. One as you feel it. That God will talk yes. But it's a different thing to say, yes, Lord, I will do. And I've heard what you have said. So I will do it. One as you feel it. And can I tell you where the problem is? It's because when God speaks, it may not sound very popular. It may not sound very familiar. So what we opt, we opt to uh, play deaf. You know when you are playing deaf, you are not deaf, but when the fighter is cheap, what does he feel? Because what the word of God is saying is not making sense to us. So we decide, yes, he has spoken. And yet he saying, take me at my word. But because what we are saying does not look very good, let me try my way, my way out, God has feeling. And I want to tell you this, God is never ambiguous. You know what is ambiguity? Ambiguity is a statement which you cannot understand. God is so clear. And in fact, uh, believers, you will hear believers saying something like this. In fact, in fact, my brother, or in fact, my sister, me be situated be sad. Mungu na taka nini? Anataka nini? Na nini? Ama mungu na taka ni fanya nini? What are the feeling? And it is very common, including myself. Ugiskia mungu na sema yuko, wio anesikia sana. What are the feeling? Otherwise, 
someone who is seeking God and want to hear what God is saying about any particular situation, we are going to again. Ni gumu sana mwana na ongea. In fact, we are going to an attack a solitary and I enter an attack as a moment of solitude and attack to have time on his own. Like in the kiss here, can be sacked and 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 be sacked Unajua tume imeandikwa tuka menemeletekea imeandikwa kwa ukuta but you don't want to do it what has to do so can we take him at his word and you know we are unique and that is why what he talks about me is not what you talk about our brother Francis it will be very different but the thing is it is his word and it is only his word which can be final in your life what has to do No, our mom told here last week that we are copying answers, but you don't know the question was different. So the marker is wondering, hey, was this person asleep or an idos? Wakata likuwa na piana answer yake. Kwa na asifive. Now, uh, you see, the age of the Lord came and, and, and told uh, uh, Mary, uh, you are calling a son and you, you bring him forth and he will be the savior of this world. You think that is some, a very simple statement? Mary being told by the, by, by the angel, you are carrying forth the savior of this world. You know, Mary did not have advanced information. He was not hinted at being told, utazamo kozi. So even when the angel comes to you, at least you have an idea. But yet we are seeing, the angel comes and tells Mary, uh, be, the Lord be with you. You are carrying forth a son who will become the savior of this world. That was profound. What has you feel? In fact, I would imagine it is the most profound statement and which has never been spoken on this earth. Why am I saying this? Some of you, or some of us, whatever God has spoken, that, that is why you are running away from it, and you are not taking him at his word. You think this is not making sense, and it is so heavy, it is so huge. You are saying, ah, mungu, iyo, ni asista yangu, yule mkumbo, kwa sababu ye, ni uzeku, ni hiko. Yangu bado na gojea, wana atifiwe. And if you move from this side where God has spoken and you come to this other side and tell him, now God, what you spoke, I've left it here. Now I am here, I'm waiting you to speak afresh. And I tell you what, God can never speak twice. You know, God is very resourceful. He doesn't waste, waste his resources. If he told you it will be so, you try to take him at his word. And then, tell him upon his presence, seek him in prayer, do whatever you can, but know that, that his word is true, but not spirit. His word is holy. His word can never be reversed. Amen? Amen? And you know, we don't want God to be grieved because we are not being obedient. Let us take him at his word, brethren. Amen? Amen. But I realize me included that we are struggling with taking God at his word. And why are we struggling? You know, there are many things in life. Why are we struggling? You know, I would imagine it would be so easy to just say, yes, God, I'm here and I will obey to what you tell me. And then we are not. What is the problem? Why are we struggling? Why are we telling God, can you look for another one? And again, God is not a man that you tell him, God, you did not look at it properly. Can you go and revise your assignment? What has you feel? God is God. What is happening? So I want to look at a number of things. Why are we struggling in taking God at his word? All of us. Because I tell you, When we take him at his word, it will change. The word will change. Our lives will change. Many things will change. And indeed, anyone wants that. No one says, I don't want a good life. I don't want a transformed life. We all want it. So, what is happening? Why are you struggling? Amen? As I continue bringing you the word, I also need to update you that uh, my family is uh, a missionary in a place called Kagema. One has few. Amen. They are minister, they, they are doing ministry work in a place called Kagema and we bless God because of the opportunity. Amen. So whenever you I know my wife uh, is known to many of you here. In fact, she prayed to God so earnestly that I may get saved. And I can see most of you who are encouraging my wife and Atakuja too. Ini fosi kwa naeza kuja. Kambia, eh, hata kuja. Nasi ya likuja. Nasi niko wapa. Amen. 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 We thank God. So, 
The first thing, why, do, why are we struggling to take God at his word? The first one is human knowledge. Amen? We, you know, we have acquired many things in our life. Our brains have uh, collected a lot of information. We have gone to school. We have had wonderful experiences in our life on many things. And we have become empowered. We, our knowledge has a lot of information. You know, and we feel we are full. We feel that we know. And I tell you, it's not going to have knowledge. It's not going to equip yourself. It's not going to personal develop yourself. But this has to be in sync. It has to blend with the word of God. One has to do it. Otherwise, if it is applied in isolation, if it is applied on the soul, it may backfire. One has to do it. So we need to use the knowledge we acquire and at the word of God. We need to submit the knowledge under the word of God. And the minute we do that, it will help us. You know, we eventually tend to use this. That is the information we have got, or the knowledge we have acquired. We eventually tend to use this to safeguard, to analyze, you know, to, 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 to project what the, things are like in life. And the unfortunate thing is, we use our human knowledge, the knowledge we have acquired, to analyze the word of God. So you know, we God has said, uh, like not maybe our brother Sambura, he says, you will be a president. And you know, it is not doubtable. It is not a big word. Indeed, you know the score that it is speaking to you. Can speak to you through the dreams. Can speak to you through the word like this. He can speak to you through a servant of God. Bishop will stand here many times and hear, my God, that is my that, that is my word. So if God tells our brother Sagura, you will be a president. Then because Sagura has learned a lot of things in life. Now, Mesoma, I'm an Afkia. Now, he starts analyzing. God, do you know people become president, how they start? Do you know how people become president at some point in life, what they are supposed to do? And you know what, my brothers? All that does not have value to us. God has given. It does not. So, when God says, let's take him at his word. Stop analyzing. Stop thinking and even having sleepless nights. Asking God, how will it work out? What you say, how will it work out? Do you know how things are right now? We often have taken God not to have done his research very well before speaking. Just as I have said, Unaambia Mungu. Mungu. Iyo kitu mesema, we, empufanya research vizuri. Sasa, Mungu atafanya research gani sasa. If he's one who created heavens and the earth, if he's saying that the earth is his foot, uh, foot stool or a uh, foot step, uh, so he's looking at us and he's saying, yes, my son is learning. My son is so knowledgeable. But he's wondering now, how do I help you? I will not want to say that God feels frustrated because we are struggling in our little knowledge, in our confined knowledge. But he's saying, use the knowledge you have acquired. And indeed, even like education. Mungu siya metubariki tunasoma. Mungu siya meleta masomo. Amu unafikiria... Mungu na stuka, eh, they have discovered. Kwaana si vivi. Unapitia kwa mungu tamka si moja sana, eh, walienda Jupiter, ama walienda Mars. Hai na watu wa kumbele. No, 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 brothers. Hizo vitu walijua. When he was three hands like this, and then he was molding it, he saw those things. Amen. Ata hizi ndeji tomnona tukonazo, mungu wa kumbele. Ata, he can see even a hundred years. Amen. So, can we consolidate our knowledge and can we make God, uh, can we make the word of God uh, work in our life using the knowledge we acquire in our life? Let it not be a hindrance. One has to it. And now, uh, you know, we are going to, we see, uh, we, we identify God, or what I'm saying is that when you're working with God because you are knowledgeable, then it's like you are seeing God in what God is telling you. Amen? You, you make a reference to 1 Corinthians 1.25. You can look at it at your own time. Now, we get into philosophical arguments. We get into a scientific argument. And brethren, take your rest in God. Take him at his word. Take him at his word. Now, I want to encourage you, brothers, to solve it. ask you? To solve it, to find a degree, Find a master's, 
kufanya doctorate kufanya professor sana sijui uko juu kuna zingine kana lakini kama kuna hata uko juu tusome bwana asijiwe and even after all that take god at his word bwana asijiwe amen so you remember some pharisees who asked jesus these things you are doing you are doing them with whose power bwana asijiwe unafikiri mtu akiuliza yesu hivyo huyo mtu alikuwa na karatasi moja alikuwa na makaratasi mingi labda hata azibu atatashaka kwa brief case yake bwana asijiwe Sana sana Yesu these things you are doing you are doing them at his power who are bad to do this then Jesus aka Yesu akauliza eh na wewe kwanza nikuulize John Jibu eh mambo ya John the Baptist si ndio so the guy got mixed up imagine professor Musa imagine he was a professor akachanya akachanganyikiwa and you see what he decided he decided to disappear in the crowd what has you So where we start to put one of those people who start arguing with God then when God tells you I am then you disappear and say what that is that is bad what has you now second second thing why we need we seem to be struggling with taking God at his word it is the environment we find ourselves in you know brethren let me tell you uh, I I included it is not easy a uh, We are encouraging ourselves this morning that we need to take God at his word. But sometimes it is not easy. And in fact we find ourselves in. We in fact we look at it unakaa hivi una unanyamaza hivi unaiangalia unashika. Eh hii Mungu atata ya hawezi. What has been? You look at it, you analyze it and you see the environment I am in. It is so adverse. It is so adverse. Even God can't himself. He cannot. But you see an environment however has the year. However uh, adverse the year. However critical they are. We need to take his word. His word will come and go above the environment we are in. Bona as you feel. That eh uh, is sometimes even though he is speaking. He is speaking yes. But we are so busy trying to marry what God is saying and the environment we are in we we are trying to pull the word of God from here and taking the environment and then we are trying to marry them so that when they marry then you can tell God yes i accept what you are telling me but you know what he sees and he sees that you are very limited if you are never if you are in an environment which is so so adverse that you do not know how you will come out of it i will tell you that is why he gives you his word In the case if you never saw the environment you are in you would have kept quiet so he is giving you his word in your adverse environment situations so that it can bring you out of it born as if you and that is why we do not need to look at our environment and our surrounding because it's the word against the very word god had sent to and your environment born as if you you know jesus told peter come and uh, that was the word of god but then Peter started thinking about water. The water itself was speaking against what Jesus has said. That is why he started thinking. The minute you are in an environment which is so adverse and then you start thinking about it and God has already spoken, I can tell you utasimu. Utazama, bwana asiviwe. I'm not trying to to make you to get uh, scared, but I tell you take the word leave the environment. We will remember that uh, you remember some program long time ago called Money or the Box. Money or the Box. Na mnaona watu wengi walikuwa wanachukua nini? Ha? Kandini nasema box, kandini nasema money. So which one? Bwana asiviwe. So it's like you are keeping God here and you are telling him the environment is so adverse. It is so bad. that i am not taking your one i'm taking the box one as few but can we take jesus one as few if the environment are so adverse if our situations are so bad can we take the word of god one as few that uh, uh, there was there was a there was a guy called mephibosheth mephibosheth was uh, was a, a grandson of saul and he was a son of jonathan is it and uh, one day god speaks through david and he says 
identify someone in the lineage of Saul and bless him. God has given. And as God is speaking to David about blessing the lineage of Saul, Mephibosheth is led somewhere and I think he's struggling with food. He's scavenging. God has given. And that is why I'm telling you, you look at the environment and you look at the word of God, you try to pull them. <laughs> try to pull the word of God and try to pull the development. Leave the one this side and leave the situation this side. So Mephibosheth, I think, was started wherever he was. Uh, there was a time his father died, his, his grandfather died, and then the nurse was running away with him. And then he fell. He became late. He became forgotten. So the word of God comes to Mephibosheth and he's told, come. Zippa calls and calls uh, Mephibosheth. When he comes, David tells him, from today onwards, regardless of where you, come, you have come from, Ata Kama Guzako has a Sikyaosha Fulo, Ata Kama Giatini Gunasos Metroboka, come, from today, you will be eating with me at my table. What has fear? That is the word of God. Amen? Amen. Now, Mephibosheth was saying, who am I, a dead dog? Now, Imagine you need to an dead dog. But then, see how he had brought himself down. Yani, this guy had beaten himself off. But because of the word of God, and when the people said he was called, he said, I will come. So he took the word of God. But see what happened. Coming from scavenging and struggling in life, and seated in the White House. One has I would imagine even that time it was White House. So we need to do that. What has given? Though you are here this morning and you wonder, hey, the preacher is saying this, but but you see, the people says became. So if he became, why did you become? What has given? So your environment is in material before God. Whatever is around you is in material. Whatever is around you is not even visible by the world. After when the word of God comes, it becomes uh, it becomes transparent. You know, transparent is something whereby when the word of God comes, it comes and permeates, goes through, and it comes and settles in your life. Amen? One has view it. That I that point why we may seem to be struggling with taking God at His word. Our historical background. One has view it. Our historical background. You know, there's something called by accountants, audit trail. One has view it. How did it drill? What has it given? Amen? It is also going to be added knowledge. How did it drill? Talks about where the source, uh, where the source uh, transaction started from. Isn't it? It goes debit, it goes credit, but they are able to trace it, isn't it? So our historical background is like how did it drill? We look at where we have come from and we look at where we are. Even though we have made some progress. But God is speaking and is telling you this is what I'm saying about your situation. This is what I'm, I'm saying about your life. Then when you, when you look at the word of so far, we are telling God, I uh uh. Mm -mm. The way the audit trail is saying God, Eo, you and attack out the trail, your person B. Because according to you, you are thinking that the audit trail of Person B is the one which is aligning with what God is saying. See, <coughs> uh, In fact, uh, when we talk about our details, we need to we need to let God have His way upon our lives and as individuals, one as few. Bishop Alisema Mimi is. Mimi, mimi ni mzee, mimi ni meoma, na mbado mimi ni kijana. Si, mbado mimi ni mzee sana. Mbado <laughs> sivile. You know, when, when you are going to school, uh, those days, uh, kiyaki ilikuwa ina nunduwa Christmas, na inavaluwa Christmas, na eh, by the grace of God, saas gino ndanumisua wende na wakanisa. Mbado sivile. Mm. <laughs> And... Uh, <laughs> Meaning, you know the gravels. So, 
mimi nilikuwa nime nimetembea mpaka kwa mguu kulikuwa na tishimo twili so jioni ningekuwa natoa hizo tumawe kwa hizo kwa hizo tumashimo twili <laughs> preparing myself and putting myself ready for the following day isn't it literally sisi tulitoka wapi but every time i could run going to school then i don't come i'm coming in the evening and i say hey, mama is going to bad sister to bana asibiwe amen now our historical background if today i told god mungu na jeni kwa na mashimo twili kwa mungu unaniambia ati iko maisha yangu itakuwa na namna hii mawe na mashimo yake na mungu those are different things bana asibiwe now hata kama ni kwa na tishimo twili kwa miguu i'm not here have a time become bana asibiwe Amen. Amen. So, let this associate ourselves from historical background. We want the word of God is say, you know, like God is sympathizing with us. He is seeing frustrated people, exhausted people, weak. He is seeing that we are frail because we are not taking him at his word. Na unajua mtu mwenye ako amechoka, mtu mwenye ako frustrated mtu mwenye ako am running out of energy who has got a good job see dio but brethren why don't we take god at his word why don't we just say yes god i close my eyes i i i say that may i become blind in your presence so that i may see may i surrender to you so that whatever you are saying i can take it and internalize it you know he say my son my daughter I am here take me at my word and you know at the point of God separating with us I tell you things are bad ukiona mungu anatuhurumia utoe mambo na mabaya bwana asifiwe all of us including me who is speaking here that can we take the root of the word of God and then we start wandering in the wilderness god is seeing that we are we are wandering in the wilderness we are lost hata tumekosa jia kutoka why because we are not taking him at his word in the fact up to this point in life because we have uh, you know you know this word or we have seen that this word is not applying to us have we made much big difference have we made much difference by not taking him at his word i know we are all uh, uh, candidates and victims but we make very little impact we make very little difference when we don't take him at his word so may we take him at his word and i want to assure you god who never keep silent over anything. Hata zile mnaona kama ameongea kwa sababu watu wetu hatataki kubali lakini yeye huongea. Or rather let me put it this way. God has never suspends accounts. You know suspend is when you don't know where to. Wacha pia ni mtumie and the new accounting tenor. Suspend is something you don't know where to post. Either post either not positive or negative. I credit or debit. God has no suspends. He has no suspense account. Bwana asifiwe. So, let us allow him to be. Let allow his word to take root in our life. I want to give you an illustration about my uh, my own life. One day, actually many years ago, that's when we were young. One day, I got the desire to become rich. Amen. Na situmeambua mwanamke ni efu. Bwana asifiwe. You know men are looking at me like uh, they are teaching I want to give up the only money here. See mona mbe ni? Therefore, what has given. So one day I I I, I dream of becoming rich. Na nikasikia kabisa sasa nataka ni kuwe sonko. Amen. Na nikasema nothing will stop me from becoming a sonko. And let me tell you because the spiritual world is very active. Whatever you desire is what comes your way. Amen. Amen. So I got a chance eh uh, to, to to buy dollar to treat in dollar to buy muslanya i don't know even how but i got connected to this person but it is a mekana mitawziwa dollar dollar ile pesa americani bwana asifiwe i mean i was being with no na it is now or never in fact when i got that idea i felt so elevated paka nilikuwa nasema this is not a shit dogo dogo sasa start kwa kusubana nazo bwana asifiwe In fact I was looking at my landlord and I was saying yo yo did you get a two me I was out him like for 6 months why you going to support na hapo Bona to you Nilikwenda angalia mambo hivi na ipangia financially 
the things I will sort out, the things I will silence. And I will say, I will struggle. So, the, the, the deal came through. And uh, I can tell you, because I was supposed to make some down payment to pay the dollar. You see, you see the confusion? Eh? <laughs> but, for the fact that I have got, actually, this is not the same. This is not the same as the same as the Actually, let me tell you this. Immediately I got that idea of becoming rich, God spoke to me immediately. After I spoke to him, I said, I don't have a dollar. I said, I don't have a dollar. I said, I don't have a dollar. But I don't have a dollar. I don't have a dollar. I don't have a dollar. Maybe I would, I would have left it if it was another thing. But I don't have a dollar. Imagine a dollar. I said, I don't have a dollar by then. So the deal started. And I looked for money. I can tell you, I, I think I even got a loan to, 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 to buy the dollar. I did not even, that time we were caught with my wife. But it was a highly guarded secret. It is only me who knew. What are the view? Because I wanted a big day to come and then I'll be like surprising everyone. So, now to make the story short. Uh, the day of the deal, when I was supposed to go and give the money, and uh, I get the dollar, and I, I would be trading in how many millions? What has you? Now, the only one wise thing I did, I looked for a bodyguard. <laughs> what has you I looked for a bodyguard for the Bible. Who has you know, never million more than plus? Now go back here. What has you So, um, but the entire thing was mad with confusion. So I went somewhere, it was somewhere in Kenyatta Market, Namco. So I'm carrying money, mine is cash. Mine is because I'm going to have a football. But I was saying, what you know, but he yao, which is where yao, you need it, you need it, So I went and placed my bodyguard somewhere. Now imagine confusion, not taking God at this one. This bodyguard of mine, I left him somewhere. Now that I had to make a funny thing. I do it, and you say, what is it on here? It's a big thing. Then you know when you say it's a big thing, he obeys you. In any case, he's on your bail. What has you? So I left him somewhere, and I went in. Now, the climax of the entire thing of me becoming rich is that uh, the deal was done in such an induced environment. Okay, I was not uh, forced, but Ilifanya kwa Araka Mingi Sana, and immediately I gave out the money. And they gave me the dollar, they gave me a kabach. Na, na nikaona kwa nika pisani dollar. They, they gave me the money, they gave me my dollar, I gave them my shilling, and they left. So we were in a room. And then, immediately Nikoya kwa info. Na nikona suti, by the way. You don't want to make some deals in, in jackets or whatever to it. So, if I was given the money, I was given the money. You know what spoke to me when I started? And I can't get a China dollar. I can't get a China dollar. I can't get a China dollar. I can't get a dollar. I then comparison. Immediately I put it in my pocket. Something told me, I can't get a China dollar. Amen. And then I stood like this, because I said, Ati, you can't make a task of Fuku. Let me tell you. By the time I went, by the time I went for my bodyguard, what was the view? The time I went for my bodyguard, I didn't even know what I was going to do. I was going to sweat. My entire body was watery. Immediately I found my bodyguard, the first question to ask him was, Wako Aki? Naya Kanuliza Akina Nani? What has he given? Taking God at this? Taking God at this? Amen? Don't ignore what God is saying, don't relegate God. The rest is history.
Bwana azidire. Ili tuanisha makaratasi mahali nilikuwa. Watu walikuja na wapasifikasi walikuwa hapa. Now, we have to take we have to take good list. Bwana azidire. We have to take good list and this is taking God at his word. It is a risk for sure. And in the times of old, and even at the time of Jesus, we saw people take God at his word. And no one has ever gone wrong because of taking God at his word. Amen? Three things that happen, as I wind up, three things that happen when we take God at his word. Uh, and by the way, God is very pleased when we take him at his word. He feels good. He sees that my children are becoming. The first thing is that we stop becoming burdens to ourselves and to the people around us. Whenever you have not taken the word of God to be true, or whenever you have not taken God at his word, you become a burden. You unakuwa mzigo. And you don't want to be mzigo because your priorities are wrong, because the way your perspective is wrong, because your vision is wrong. By the way, when you don't take God at his word, all your things are wrong. Kama ni saithi yako yiko blaad. Kama ni yalini yako yiko nashida. So let's take God at his word. And the minute we do that, we stop becoming burdens. Second item is that we allow growth. Whenever we take God at his word, he splits and he deposits more in us. He speaks more into our life. And then we are able to grow. In fact, when you don't take God at his word, you become spiritually retarded. You become a haukui. Yes, mwili inakuwa na physically you are, but spiritually you are retarded. You become a uliya. Uliya cha kukua, so uko tu hapo. And you know someone is not growing. You don't even respond to the environment. The third thing is that we become people of impact. Whenever we take God at his word, we become people of impact. And God is always so, so faithful that he will see us as complete product when he's speaking to us. Amen? <clears throat> Everlasting Father, we thank you this morning that indeed your word has come to in our life. One thing we pray, Father, is that you may give us strength to stand and take you at your word. We know there are many voices which are calling us from the side, distracting us, oh Father, and diverting us. But we choose to ignore them. We choose to put them aside and we choose to take you at your word. Indeed, your word is saying, and we are becoming. We want to become, oh Lord God. We seem weak, we seem frustrated, we seem disoriented. But Father, why, Father, that we may not take it at your word? We are now this morning confessing and saying, we are waiting, we will take you at your word. We repent this morning, and we are saying, Father, that that which you have wanted us to become, we will become because today we have been transformed. Today we have been changed. Today we have been taken round and indeed we have taken a roundabout turn in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I make a prayer upon every son here, upon every daughter here, upon every of your, of your creation here, Father, to take you at your word. Because we know taking you at your word, oh Lord God, who will make us complete, and it is the only one which will make us, Father, become who you want us to be. We want, Father, to disconnect ourselves from the forces and powers of darkness, which makes us, Father, not hear your word, which makes us not fear you, O oh Lord, and which gives us different agenda when you speak to us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that you may receive all the glory and you may receive all the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen.